all the fun you can find in the first town in the first state. We got into a lot of it last year during our small town series on Lewis. From the beach to the businesses, you will certainly stay busy. But with that title, the first town of the first state, comes an historic heritage. And the place to explore that is the Lewis Historical Society. With us this afternoon from the Lewis Historical Society, Director of Education, Marcos Salaberia, and Director of Museum Programming, Andrew Leiter. Gentlemen, thank you so much for talking to us. Glad thank to you for having us. So you just reopened last week. Did, did COVID-19 kind of put a pause on the operations for the, for the society? Uh, certainly. We, uh, we closed our doors March 15th, I believe, and we were closed for three months, and all of our staff working from home in preparation to really reopen and reinvent ourselves, offer new digital offerings for our, um, for our visitors that we missed seeing in person. So we completely transformed ourselves for that period. So, so Marcos, do you think this was, maybe this time down was of benefit to you? It was certainly a time for a lot of our volunteers to uh, explore deeper history and uh, especially for those that do living history to explore their characters and come back with a, a richer appreciation for what it must have been like to be uh, have uh, have trapped indoors in the past. The Lewis Historical Society playing such an active part in the community. What have you got coming up? So tours are running again. We have this summer our new socially distancing tours, which are reduced uh, reduced size. So small group tours, uh, asking folks, of course, to wear facial coverings uh, and stay six feet apart. Uh, but they visit the uh, same sites that we would if normal. Uh, in normal conditions, but uh, we still share a maritime history and architectural tour history. Uh, we share our Lewis legends, some of the uh, legendary tales uh, on Sundays at six, uh, a chance when town is becoming a little quieter and maybe some of the voices of the past can be heard on the wind. Uh, and as well too, uh, trying to engage uh, students and children as they're out of school and parents looking for something to do over the summer. We have a new program this year, uh, which is known as the Artist as an Historian, and it's an outdoor art activity where children uh, will be uh, able to have their own art carry-on and carry-off art packet and recreate uh, subjects from our actual collections. Additionally, we have a brand new exhibit opening uh, Labor Day weekend. It's in our Cannonball House, which was a survivor and witness to the War of 1812. And Marcos and myself have completely reinvented the second floor of this building. And we're really trying to provide a revised history of the War of 1812 in Lewis and what occurred right um, on these streets surrounding us. So we're really excited about that. We have our antique show coming up Labor Day weekend. We have a maritime program with living history interpreters. We also have our speaker series returning August 14th as well as some suffragist uh, programming coming up beginning of August as well. So we have a lot lot in store, and we're hoping that COVID continues to uh, things improve. Make things better. Now i got to ask you a question. I'll, I'll be honest with you. A lot of times uh, when I think of an historical society, um, I picture in my head, whether it's right or not, mostly octogenarians, gray hair, um, elderly. You guys are obviously not this. Why are you two so passionate about keeping Lewis history alive? I work with students and I work in education because when I was about yay high, uh, someone got to my level and told me that history is important. Uh, history is made every day, and in this time we are. Uh, and my mission and my goal is to, to make it alive uh, and fun and interesting so that by the time uh, I am and others are octogenarians or gray hairs, you're still loving history. <laughs> um, I would echo Marcos's remarks, also say, I mean, the history of Lewis is so vibrant and diverse. I mean, we normally look in on Lewis as a small first town, first state, but it is the gateway to the Atlantic, the gateway to Philadelphia. There's so much history here. And as public historians, our job is to pull from the past, make sense of the present, and really make this relevant to everyone today, make them care about history and show how important it is uh, to our society. So we are never... Um, Never going to run out of history to share in this town. There's so much. Mm -hmm. there, there you go. There. Okay, so while it may be behind masks, uh, we're looking forward to seeing you face-to-face -face again uh, from the Lewis Historical Society, Director of Education, Marco Salaberia, and Director of Museum Programming, Andrew Leiter. Gentlemen, thank you so much for talking to us.
Thank you. Thank Pleasure. You.